watching this video, I I know I'm hard to understand, so just bear with me. I just got braces, so if you can't hear any stuff, just ask me questions and I can answer it. Okay, enjoy the video. Hello, it's Honeycomb1000 here, and I just got a new white MacBook. It's a 2.16 gigahertz Intel Core 2 dual processor. It came with one gigabyte of RAM, and it's pretty fast. But I got two gigs just to just to make sure. And they're coming in about a week. Um, to start off, the design is very nice. It's very sleek. Um, all the ports are on the left hand side and the disk drives on the right hand side this is the middle model so it has the DVD burner the lower end doesn't have a DVD burner just a CD burner and a DVD player and I went with this one because of the bigger hard drive and also because of the DVD burner um, the keyboard is, is very nice They're, uh, they're spread apart and uh, it doesn't take very long to get used to it. They're flat and it's, it feels kind of like Scrabble, I guess, Scrabble keys, but easy to get used to. The trackpad is uh, really nice and it's big. It's only one button, so if you want to right click, you have to hold down on the, on the button with two fingers for about two seconds and then it activates the right click. At the top of the laptop screen, there's a there's a built-in iSight camera and a microphone, which works really well. That's what I'm using right now. The iSight camera only works on with iChat. It doesn't work with MSN, so that's a down that's a downside. Um, in the box, it also comes with a Apple remote, and you press this button. Right here it says menu, it'll activate front row, which then controls your iTunes, photos, videos, and then the DVD. So that's pretty nice. Um, the operating system, so, um, if you want to compare the, the size of these, it's pretty thin. There's only six buttons on it, so it's pretty easy to use. The operating system is different than uh, a Windows, but it's nice. It's got many of the same things. Like if you, uh, my computer on a Windows is a Macintosh HD on this, and it has your profile and the applications and the documents and movies and music and pictures. There's just no my in front of them. Um, it's got loads of applications that come with it, like iTunes, iPhoto, iWeb, and GarageBand. I like I like all those programs because they're really easy to use, and it doesn't take very long to make a movie or a website or a song. It's pretty pretty easy. Um, Apple's alternative to Microsoft Office is called iWork, and the new one they came out with, iWork 08, comes with a new program called Numbers which is pretty cool but I have Keynote and Pages on mine as a trial and it's pretty cool because Pages is like a PowerPoint and there's lots of preset um, templates that you can use and it's really cool and then Keynote is the word processor and Numbers is like Excel for your numbers. Um, the, the computer or the laptop gets gets hot if I don't have the fan control. And the fan control I have on here is SMC fan control. And right now the computer is at 52 degrees Celsius and uh, that's about 124, 125 degrees Fahrenheit. It's not, it seems hot, but it's not hot when it's sitting on your lap. And right now it's not very hot. It's a pretty big fan in the back, but the fan it also shares with the speakers. 
which the speakers on this computer suck. They don't work. They work, but they don't go very loud. And you can't hear them. So, uh, back to the operating system. It's this, instead of the start menu, you get a dock. You can put as many stuff as you can fit on the dock, and yeah, it's if you want to hide it, you just there's a hiding function you can do, and when you put your mouse to the bottom, it the dock pops up. If you put it on the left hand side, same thing. So, and instead of a start, there really is no start. But to shut down, you just a little Apple logo in the top left hand side of the screen, and you just go. You click sleep, restart, or shut down, and you log off. And on the Apple thing, you can find out about this Mac software updates, Mac OS, Mac OS 10 software, system preferences, dock, location, recent items, and force quit. Force quit is really nice. If you put the program won't shut down on a Mac, you click force quit, and it forces the program to shut down. Like. You know, at an instant almost so that's pretty good um, spotlight I use a lot it's a search thing for your computer it's the top right hand side of the screen you click on it and you type in the first three letters of the document or ap application you're looking for and it finds it right away and you launch it right from there what's also really cool about the Mac or this one has, has built in Bluetooth, and that's really cool. You get a Bluetooth mouse. You don't have to use one of the USB slots up. We just use it. Does it wirelessly? Same with you have like a a cell phone. You can find it wirelessly. It's also really cool. The Mac. You don't have to. You have a printer in the house. You don't have to install a whole bunch of crap on your computer just to get it to work. Like when I opened my Mac up, I went to. I went into a to keynote and I typed in a couple of sentences and I clicked print and I found the nearest printer and I selected it and I clicked print and I went to the computer room in my house and it was already printed out which is that's really cool because I know with my Windows laptop they had to download this download the software wait for it to load and then a bunch of that stuff that was that's pretty bad. So, with a Mac, like they say, it just works. It's pretty easy to use. And when you get a Mac, you won't, you won't be disappointed. This isn't my first time using the OS X operating system because there's an iMac in my house too, which I go on. And I use a lot of programs on there for school and stuff. So, uh, thanks for watching my video. I hope it helps. Please comment and please subscribe. Thanks.